Welcome back to the Crick Silver Pro on the Gold Coast of Australia. Gabriel Medina, former world champ and event champ, taking on Ian Govea, the rookie, also from Brazil. Two goofy foots, best of friends, almost they feel like family at times, but now they're both fighting for the same cause to move on into round four action to join Connor Coffin and Kelly Slater in a heavy battle later on in the contest. Both be surfing on their backhand attack here at Snapper, and during the break, Medina got started, Potts. Yes, he did, um, and it's interesting. It's, it's just to see how and if that knee injury is going to affect him so far. It doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, you know, and that's the funny thing about surfing, Joe. You know, uh, sometimes in the heat of the moment, you've got that ability just to forget about what's wrong with your body and focus on what's uh, the job at hand. Medina going straight up through the lip. A beautiful opening wave here from Gabby. Brings it all the way through the inside, and uh, you know what they say, the wounded animal is twice as dangerous, and that is exactly how Medina is looking at the moment. So what a way to start for Gabriel Medina. Maybe some nervous moments there to see whether or not he is 100%. It looks fine to me. Also, Govea getting an opener, Potts. Yeah, beautiful transition float right there. Comes around, and that under the, under the lip hook from Ian Govea. Back-to-back -back turns, looking sharp as attack. Beautiful wave selection as it uh, gets caught a little bit behind the section, pulls into the barrel and goes down. So, you know, you talk about these guys being super close friends, almost family at times, but... It's here and there. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, doesn't surprise me. I think uh, the, the way this kid surfs, you know, the air game, there's going to there's gonna come injuries. But if he just does this, I mean, if he just sticks to the stock standard basic backhand surfing, basic for Medina is, is excellent, you know, and that's the thing he's got to realise. Saw Jack Freestone pretty much the same uh, scenario in Brazil where, you know, he, he shied away from the airs. He just stuck to the face of the wave and posted big scores. And that's exactly what Gabriel Medina is doing right now. Don't take any chances. It's the first event of the year. You don't want to, you know, go for some crazy backside air and then, and then land awkward again and maybe put yourself out for a couple of events. Love seeing this angle from the water. Strider, that was your angle where you saw Medina start. What was your reaction to the 883 here? Well, it was, it was obviously the fundamentals were going to play in. Saw him coming down the line, eyeballing it off, and he really did want to go straight up into the air. You could see it in his head. He was itching for it, and then I watched him do the downturn, come around and do the snap after the, off that first section. So he really making a decision there to stay on the face, which was interesting. You know, he loves to do that, but like Pot said, we don't need another injury. We don't need another bad knee. So here we go out the back. Medina is going to get something going again. We'll see what he's got as he comes down the line, cracks it up off the top, more fundamentals, bang again into the ball, nice little lip line float, another sweep into the corner as this thing loads up on the inside. He's going to keep the board moving and set up as out the back, Govea's on a screamer himself, but Medina bangs again on the inside, looking for that wall all the way through the inside corner. He's speed lining. I'm out of view. It's beautiful. Medina still swinging through the inside corner and has one more blow in store. Govea sending some water to the sky. A battle of the Brazilian Goofy Foots, both going blow for blow on the backside attack. Sticking to big turns in the pocket. Govea is going to kick out right in front of Medina. I love seeing the exchange when both of them are swinging off the roof at the same time. Let's start with Gabriel Medina here. Yeah, Medina looking so solid on his feet at the moment. Just that board looks underneath uh, his feet perfectly nice and you know on top of the water it doesn't look like any drag it doesn't look like any mistakes going on right now for Gabriel Medina that knee looks fine just sticks to those uh, stock standard turns and for, stock standard for Medina is excellent as I said before all the way through the inside thought about the barrel there for a minute but then just stuck to the face of the wave jammed it through the lip a couple more times I mean this is just rapid fire from Gabriel Medina the confidence is up that he's found that flow he's found that groove and it all starts from that first turn. You know, you click with that first turn and the rest of the wave really just follows. As we see that Govea backside connection out the back, he flowed through some beautiful just soft turns to stick into the power source. Real stylish surfer as well. And then this is where his wall really started exploding as well. Very similar surfing, isn't it, really? When you look at uh, the, the line they're drawing, the, the position they put their boards in. Um, you know, maybe Medina just a little bit more polished, I suppose, with experience and obviously time on tour with a world title under his belt and multiple wins. Ian Gavea, rookie on tour, but I tell you what, he's, uh, he's not daunted by the task at hand. Look at that beautiful upside down under the lip turn and into, you know, maneuver number two. So I like the fact he's coming out on the face, just waiting for that wave. You know, no urgency, really. 
You can't rush with snapper rocks. You've got to wait for it. You've got to wait for the wave to stand up. And when it does, be prepared to, to react. And that's exactly what he's done here. A couple of beautiful turns through the inside. I think Medina's going to get uh, the nod with that exchange as well. So I think Gouveia is going to need a big score after this exchange. So a solid effort from Ian Gouveia making his rookie debut. Let's see if there's a taker on this next opportunity. And Medina will set up his first turn. Hard off the bottom. Sets up that top turn carve, squares up vertically. Looking to better an 8.83. Sway of overhead to start with a plenty of face to work with. 2014 event champ now looking for this wall section to double up. Govea now starting to swing on the next one. The battle of the backhanders through the inside. Medina looking to finish another insane ride here at Snapper Rocks. He'll get out in front, the knees looking solid under his feet. Govea, meanwhile, with a barrel opportunity. He's not going to get it there. But right back to maneuvers. Squares up nice and vertical in the most critical section. So the rookie's still showing up, even though he's got a massive total to overcome. He's taking this one down to where the free surfers are, heading towards Green Mound. Another backside float, and Govea's going to step off. So the goofy foot battle continues. Medina with pole position. We've been waiting for Govea to qualify. And look what we have here, Medina again. Already dropped off the ski. He'll just check that one out. Can't help himself. The wave looked perfect. Every single wave is perfect. And you can see how selective they are. Just two guys out. They're waiting for the best waves. We'll wait for that last exchange to come through as we take another look. See how it's sort of a little stutter step right there to stand up, so... And then gingerly kicks out. So, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling he's not 100%, but Medina at 75% Medina at is good enough to win. Here we go. Let's have a look at Gavea's wave. This was behind Medina's. So, basically trying to take the sting out of Medina's wave, but not enough vertical face on the outside to really compete with what Gabriel Medina's been doing. Kid surf's good though, um, you know, it's a little bit of a slow start in this event, but he's starting to wind up. A couple of beautiful snaps here, looks for the barrel, mixing it up there, some old school layback stuff, now grabs the rail, and then finishes off with a couple of nice backside snaps, so I'm liking what I'm seeing from, uh, from Ian, you know, it's his first event, it's going to be a, some sort of nerve surfing against Gabriel Medina, he's a former world champ, defending champ out here as well, not defending champ, but past champ I should say, and Medina Look at him. We, we knew he was going to better that score, didn't we? Sure did as we watch the final couple of motions from Ian Govea down the line. Gabriel Medina turns in a 9.2 on his third wave. Back-to-back -back nine Rangers, oh. his best one a 9.8, a 19-point total pass. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Best uh, two-wave total so far. Insane surfing from Gabriel Medina, you know, just that, those outside turns. And as I said before, you know, because of the fact he's carrying an injury, you know, he's sort of smooth things out he's he's not rushing he's not trying to do anything too radical and, and he's focusing on just solid mistake free surfing and, and and that is scoring big time right now for him an eight nine point eight nine point two zero he's throwing an eight point eight three away amazing composure from medina after his win in 2014 he's had some tough results at the season opener and this win back in 2014 catapulted him to number one in the world when it was all said and done. It was all done by backside hooks, surfing smart, having a game plan, knowing which part of the bank was working. And he came up to the podium with this look of shock. He took out Joel Parkinson on the home court. He came back the following season with his air of confidence around him. He was a giant in the locker room. Had some awkward results in smaller conditions. And now back to this form. Waves are pumping. Even with the injury, he's going to be tough to beat throughout the event. Joe, were you surprised when Medina, I mean, won the world title? Not at all. Not at all, right? Why? Because uh, that, that mid-year mid rotation that they had, he came on halfway through the year and won two events. At just 17 years of age. Watching this now, this is Govea. Late hit, he's down. Ian scores 6'5", 6'9", 3 on his last. Still chasing... Itzalo with a 17.83 combined total.
was one of the highest marks. Now it's 19 is the benchmark in this heat. That's still underway. Medina with some speed to burn. So you can jam a couple of backside hooks. Starting to slow down a little bit. And he's going to let the rest of that one roll through. Gauvet on the next one. Big backside blow tail reverse. He's got the lineup to himself with one of his best friends. He's comboed. He's going to show the world what he's capable of. And now into the inside. Checks it under the lip. You can tell he wants to ramp up. He'll pull in now. Solid little inside funneling section. Oh. Gauvet comes out. Right into a float to show more combinations. And he stomps it shut. Very impressive to see the rookie just keep his head down and still swinging to break the combination. Times against him, but he's really entertaining the crowd, Potts. Well, how cool is that little barrel on the inside? I mean... Let's have another look, Potts. Oh, I love that little backside blowtail as uh, he brings this one through the inside. You know, it's, uh, I don't think uh, it's going to better his uh, situation, unfortunately, but I love this little inside section. It starts to rattle off, and, and he needs to really hit the gas now he goes and just to get into this thing watch how tight the x the entrance is and then drives through that section that was a perfect little tube right right there from the Ingevaya. now he's uh even though he's in a combo situation the scoreline doesn't really show how good he's been surfing i love this vision from the water and especially backside as well pots it was incredible to see him make the distance here yeah didn't celebrate went right straight to turns to finish I would have celebrated. <laughs> yeah, though, is going to be proud of this performance. He's got a 7-2-3. Couple of solid sevens. Now Medina is going to enjoy this ride. He can just coast on in. A brilliant start. 8-8-3, which he's not counting anymore. Had a 9-8, followed by a 9-2, all in a row. Wow. And he'll join Kelly and Connor in round four to compete later on today. So now one of his better results in the making in Medina's career. That win was really his only major result. The only time he's made it into the final series. So finding success again here in 2017.